Hey everyone, taking a quick minute today to show you how the phone scope camera app works with the spotting scope and binoculars. This is our home screen. <clears throat> Select the spotting scope binocular option and this is your main screen. We'll go ahead and just work from the top to the bottom. So here's your flash control. You can set it to auto, on, or off. I've got mine selected as off at the moment. Uh, this button at the top uh, will actually toggle your cameras. So if you have a dual lens iPhone, you select this and as you can see it now is using the telephoto lens. So I'll press that and it comes back to the wide angle. So that's going to toggle between the wide angle and the telephoto. As most of you have found with the iPhone 7 Plus, 8 Plus, and iPhone X, the standard Apple camera app is not as easy to use uh, between toggling the camera. Once you zoom past 1.9x, you know, you'll, you'll get some, uh, your cameras will bounce back and forth between the two. The reason being is the sensor inside of the phone is telling you there's not enough light uh, to be able to use the telephoto lens. So it's trying to bounce back between the wide angle and the way that our adapter is centered around the camera, that's causing some issues. Um, this button here will flip the camera around. And over here, we have the ISO. Most cases, you won't need to adjust this. You can go into custom and uh, you can, uh, as you can see, adjust the exposure. Um, most cases, you'll just you'll be fine with using the auto feature. Um, this box here is just part of uh, the beta and what we're working on and how that will work is going to be the touch to focus. Right now it's actually set to just do the exposure so you will have to uh, manually focus the scope but as you can see the camera is pretty good with the uh, auto focusing itself. So let's come down here uh, bottom left corner, that's going to be your photo and videos. Uh, over into here, you can toggle uh, through a couple of different modes. There's time lapse, slow mo, 4K video, which is available on the 7 Plus, 8 Plus, and iPhone X. And then the scope will actually, you select that, it'll take you back to the home menu where we began. So we'll close that. And this button down here, will actually toggle between photo and video. Uh, so when you see this red record, that is going to record video. And you'll select the photo icon and now you will and now you will be taking photos. So go back to video, select that. You're gonna see a timer, it's gonna start recording. And you can pause that. Come over into here, into our next come over into here this is just your photo quality, high, medium, low, kept it simple, and video quality. I've got it right now set to 4K, uh, but you can go down, you know, depending if you're trying to save on space, uh, you can adjust your video quality there. Go ahead and close that. That's really all there is to it. Thanks for watching. This was, again, a video on the spotting scope and binocular option in the phone scope camera app. If you have questions, drop us a line, support at phonescope.com. You can also reach us by phone, 800-790-4480, as well through our website Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. to 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on our live chat feature. Thanks for watching.